Okay, now we're gonna get into the stretch position and pickoff moves. The first thing we wanna do, when we get in our stretch position, we have runners on base, we have a runner on first base right now, is we gotta get our sign from the catcher. Now a couple things, we have a couple options here. One, we can start out with the ball in our hand, or we can start out with the ball in our glove. Okay, I prefer the ball in my hand because it just gives me another opportunity to make a throw over to first base if I want to. Okay, if I do that, start out with the ball in my hand, and one, I gotta make sure that I hide this ball from the hitter as I get my sign. When I get my sign, I bring the ball to my glove, and then I change the grip on the ball if I have to. Okay, again, very important that you don't change the grip on the ball until you get it in the glove. If you change it back here, Okay, it's a good chance that so you go to your change up grip, you change it back here, that hitter's gonna see the change up grip, the runner will see the change up grip, and everybody's gonna know what's coming. All right, so we wanna make sure we get our sign, we change our grip right here, and we get into our set position. Now the only thing I can move in my set position is my head. If I'm gonna look at a runner on second or look on a runner at first, this is all I can do. If I move my shoulder, that's a balk. All right, so I get my sign, I come to my set, now I'm ready to go, okay? That's thrown from the stretch. Now with that, we gotta figure out a way how to keep those runners close to the base, okay? The first thing I'm gonna go over is the mechanical parts of the pickoff move. And I got my buddy Landon here to help me. Landon, if you could just come over here for a sec. Now when I get into my set position, as a right-handed pitcher, to have a good pickoff move, we want to have quick feet. And the first thing I'm going to move when I go to make a pickoff move is my back foot. And you can see here that my weight's back also. I don't want to be throwing off the slope of the mat. I want to make sure my weight is back here. Some guys like to bend their back knee slightly. Some guys will just be a little bit higher up on the mound. What we don't want is this. If I get it in here, I'm in a nice athletic position. Again, when I make that pickoff move, this foot is gonna move first. So I go from here to here. The front foot, we gotta make sure when we turn that we clear it so we have a clear shot to first base. Now when you do it quick, it almost looks like they're moving at the same time, but they're not. Again, this one's moving first. If this one moves first, all we can do now is because we picked this up is pivot on that back foot. And if we do this, that's a balk. We have to disengage the rubber when we make a pickoff move, okay? As far as my throw, I don't want to throw the ball as hard as I can. I just want it to be a short, firm throw, make a good throw, give that first baseman a chance to make a play. So here I go. I get my sign, I come to my set, turn, throw. Let's try that again. I get my sign, come to my set, turn, throw. Here's the stretch. Another throw to first. Rollins out at first base. First thing we're gonna do is get our sign. Or our set. That a boy landing. Now hold it right there. Landon does a good thing. You see when he comes up to his set position, he has his eyes on the runner. A common mistake, especially with young pitchers, is as they're coming to the set, they're either looking at the ground or they're looking at third base. You always want to make sure when you get here, your eyes are there and your chin stays forward. If you want to look at home plate, you just look with your eyes. You want to look at first base, you move your eyes. Don't start moving your head around down to the ground. Keep it on home plate. Okay, let's start over again from the beginning. Step off. Good job, Landon. Let's take a step over there. You got a pretty good idea with the physical part of the pickoff move. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the mental side. And what I mean by that is one, we want, as a pitcher, we don't wanna be predictable to the base runner. Most young pitchers, when they get their sign, they come to their set, and then they deliver the ball to the plate. What we wanna do is mix up our time and hold the ball, okay, for different time lengths, all right? Meaning, we'll get here, we'll come to our set, we'll hold the ball, We'll hold the ball, we'll hold the ball, then throw over. The next pitch, 
we may get right here, come to our belt, and throw over. The next pitch, we can come here to our set, hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball, then go to the plate. Okay, what we want to do to that base runner is mess up his timing. Okay, and for you, we don't want to get in patterns because if we're a pitcher and we get in patterns, it's a lot easier. You're a lot easier pitcher to steal on. Okay, so let's work on that now. Where this one, I want you to come up and work on holding the ball. So come to your set one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, pick off. Good job. Try it again. A lot of times for a young pitcher, it's pretty difficult for a young guy to hold the ball. So the easier you can teach him this concept, the, the, the better he'll be. There you go. Now I want you to just come up, get to your set, and do a quick pickoff move. Great job. Okay, now we're gonna get our lefty. So Andy Pettit set up high, looks over there, goes his first. The throw goes to this Kaino down to the short. Come on, Nick. All right, Nick, go ahead and make a couple pickoff moves. Now with the left-hander, obviously he has an advantage over the right-hander because he can look at the runner the whole time. And one thing we want to make sure that Nick's doing is he looks exactly the same going to first base as he would going home. And you can see that Nick's using a big leg kick when he goes to first base. So now, Nick, I want you to go to home plate, and let's make sure we see that same leg kick when you go to home plate. Good job. Okay, let's give me another throw over to first base. Okay, an important thing now for pitchers is we want to make sure for left-handed pitchers is you don't cross this plane where the rubber is. If you do that and you go to first base, that's a balk. Okay, so we make sure when we come to our balance position that that foot stays on that side of the rubber. Okay, let's try another one. Good job, Nick. Now with the left-handers, we talked a little bit about the right-handers as far as changing times and how we don't want to just come to our belt buckle and go to the plate or come to our belt buckle and go to first. With you, you got to make sure that you don't get into patterns with your looks, meaning a lot of times left-handed pitchers, they'll look to first and throw home, and they'll look home and throw to first. So what I want you to do is work on your head looks and have different head looks whether you go to home or whether you go to first. Good. Okay, good job.